you ever wanted to play your favorite Windows only Steam games on your Apple Silicon Mac, well, you've clicked on the right video, because today, that's exactly what I will be showing you how to do. Just click on the first link in the description, and you will be brought to this page. Um, all you need to do is put in the name and just put in uh, your email address and click download trial now. After you get that, you will get a, a zip folder right here. Inside of that, you are going to have uh, the crossover.app. When you open that, it will want you to move over to your applications folder. Once it's in your applications folder, open it up. And you will see crossover trial. Just click try now. Now you won't have all this stuff here, but I'll show you how to get that again in a bit. Anyways, close out of this and completely quit crossover. Go to the second link in the description and you will get to this page. Click on download now and it will begin downloading. This is a plist editor uh, that we will be using. You can delete this after, you just need it for now. Open it up. There you go. Now you can close out of that. But now, uh, up at the top, go to Finder. You want to go Go. Hold down Control and click Library. Preferences. And search for Crossover. You want this plist file. Go to Open With. Press Editor. You will get to something like this. When you see this, you want to go to First Run Date. You see this right here. Just change this year to anything you want. I'm going to do the year 5000. After you are done with that, you simply want to close out. And now, if you go back and open Crossover, you will see that the Crossover trial uh, has now extended. And you can now open it up. And it will work. You have crossover opened. You want to go down to install, and you will see Steam right here. Click on that and press install. After you have finished um, installing and signing into Steam, you can now install whatever game you would like. In this case, I am going to be playing BeamNG Drive. Now I've already installed it, but anyways, you can now close out and uh, in Crossover, you should actually see BeamNG Drive as its own icon. Anyways, um, you can close out of Crossover. There you go. And you will notice that there are multiple ways you can now uh, run BeamNG Drive. You can go through Crossover and click on BeamNG Drive. Or you should see this new folder here called Crossover Other right here. You will find Steam, Steam Support Center, BeamNG Drive, or whatever other game. You can select the game. Click Try Now. You will need to do that every time you launch the application, but that's all you need to do. After a little bit, you should start seeing the game launch. And you are done. Now immediately, once you get in, you will notice it, it is uh, quite good uh, as per performance. Um, I currently am using an uh, M2 MacBook Air um, with you know about mid specs and this game runs uh, very smooth at least in my opinion um, on the normal uh, presets like right off the bat so I will go uh, start uh, free roam
And here we go. Keep in mind, this is running on just a MacBook Air, and the performance is pretty great. Well, that's about all for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.